Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to take a look at how to design your database schema. And we'll do it entirely using the intuitive designer view in Surrealist. Whether you're crafting a new database from scratch or fine tuning an existing one, the designer view makes it visual, easy, and fast. Let's get started. Once you're connected to your SurrealDB instance in Surrealist, first make sure the correct namespace and database is selected. After that, use the sidebar to navigate to the Designer tab. If you're starting from scratch, you'll now see a blank canvas. Or if you've already defined the schema, you'll see that here. This will be our workspace for today. Step 2. Adding tables to your schema. To create a database, we need tables. Each table represents a core entity in your application. Press the plus button in the toolbar to create our first table. In this pop-up, we will first choose the type of table we are creating. This can either be a regular table or a relation table. After that, we must enter the unique name of the table. As always, make sure the name of your table is descriptive of the content it will contain. In this example, I will be creating a user table. We have the option to decide whether the table is schemaless or schemaful. Schemaless tables offer flexibility and adaptability for dynamic data, while a schemaful table provides structure and consistency for data integrity. When you're satisfied, press the Create button to define the table. Step 3. Configuring table properties. The table designer allows you to change many table properties, including permissions, change feeds, fields, indexes, and events. Let's configure the table we just created. To do so, press the table directly in the canvas or in the sidebar. First, I will be adding a field definition. In this pop-up, we must first enter the name of the field. After this, we can configure additional options, such as the value type, assertion condition, permissions, and more. Like most resources created in the designer view, this pop-up will execute a defined statement under the hood in order to create our field. You can essentially consider the designer view to be a visual alternative to writing defined queries yourself. Next, we can add an index to the field we just created. After we have entered the mandatory index name, we must specify our previously created field name in the indexed fields input. Finally, we specify the type of index we are creating. We can now go ahead and press Save Changes. This will update the canvas with our changes. Before we can create a relationship, we need to define a second table to relate to. In order to create a relationship between these two tables, simply create another table. However, this time we will select Relation as table type. Doing so will reveal two additional inputs one for defining incoming tables, and one for defining outgoing tables. As you can see, the designer view will now render a directional arrow between the tables, representing the relation. Step 5. Customizing the canvas. The designer view offers additional settings to change the way tables and relations are rendered on the canvas. When you press the gear button in the toolbar, you will see a drop-down containing various useful settings to customize the appearance of the designer view. You can change the information displayed on table cards, change the algorithm used for table positioning, and choose whether record links are visualized, plus other useful features. In addition to this, you can manually drag tables around to gain a further overview of your schema. Step 6. Saving your schema. After designing your schema, you can easily export it as SurrealQL so you can reapply it later. To do this, hover over the connection status in the top left of the interface. Then press Export Database. Make sure to disable Include Table Records and enable all tables. Now press Save Export to save the schema to disk. Alternatively, we can also export the Designer View Canvas as image, allowing you to embed it in documents, presentations, and other places. To do this, Simply right-click anywhere on the canvas and press Export as PNG or Export as SVG. And that's it! As you can see, 
Designing your schema using the designer view can be a really easy way to get a visual overview of your database schema. For more videos and tutorials on Surrealist, you can head to our Surrealist playlist here on YouTube. And if you found this video useful, don't forget to subscribe for similar content. Thanks for watching.